Okay, SD25 part three. This is the upper chain. You see the dot. Sorry, there's a dot on the yellow mark. The punch mark on the pulley there. On the dark dot. Punch mark on the pulley on the dark link. Tension is in, set up. I pull the pin. There she goes. Um, this has been tensioned up to 30, 30 32 uh, newton meters. They've been locked tighted in. The red tape just signifies that I've got to check the run out on the gears and tension those bolts up once I get it spinning. Um, bottom chain's all got all the guides in. I've put this one in as well. It's all good to go. Been through that. And the only other thing is the front cover. There is this tensioner here. Slips into the front cover. So it's ready to go. Other than that, um, that should be it. That's a dowel that does come out, so I put that back in. Made sure the oil of oiling supply was good for that. That uh, hydraulic tensioner there. Once again, the O-ring will go into the there when I put that cover on, which will be very shortly. And this is all timed up. Two dots on the on the trough matches with the dot on the tooth. This one, the two dots on the tooth matches with the dot on the trough. That's with the sim same amount of preload on each of these uh, split gears here. So the timing on the uh, Balance shafts are right. Everything else is good to go. Good clearance everywhere. The chain looks like it's not rubbing because this this has been a duplex chain and it's clearance on the uh, cover everywhere. So it shouldn't be a drama. That'll lock in. All right. I think I can just about spin it over now. Very good.